You're right guys, in this week's video I want to talk about eliminating exhaust drone, how to do it hypothetically using a bit of math. I've done an article on strikeengine.com about Helm, Helmholtz resonators and quarter wave resonators. This video is going to show you how to use those calculators. First, a bit of background. Why do I want to reduce exhaust drone? What exactly is the problem I'm facing? The Octavia RS project car, there's other videos on the channel for them, check it out if you want to see them. It's got a straight through exhaust system, it's a 70mm turbo back exhaust, it's just got a catalyst in it and a small Jap style rear silencer. But the biggest problem is a big droning noise at what seems to be anything above 3,500 RPM. So my initial thoughts for a solution were looking on AliExpress for active silencers. The one issue I have with them is that the holes, when the valve is closed, the holes that goes into the main silencer are quite small. And then another possibility was just to fit um, a valve with a less restrictive silencer. So those are the two options, the, the valve muffler and just a simple valve and a simple silencer. I thought those were the only two options, but then I stumbled upon quarter wave resonators and Helmholtz resonators and people using these resonators to eliminate specific drones from their exhaust. That is exactly what I want. To do it I just need to find a frequency that's causing the problem and then I can use the calculators to find out what size of resonator I need. So here are the calculators. I'll put a link to this page in the video description. We basically got two types of resonator here. We've got the Helmholtz resonator which is this thing here connected by a small pipe. It's a resonance chamber connected to the exhaust and the other one which is called a J-pipe or a quarter wave resonator. It's just a, a pipe that comes off the exhaust system like so. It's just capped at the end, no, no silencer, no chamber in it at all. So the first calculator on the page is a quarter wave resonator. This is this one. And the calculation for this is relatively easy. Uh, first of all, you need to know the operating temperature inside the resonator when it's working. Now this can be surprisingly low because the air is not actually flowing into it. I'm not, honestly not exactly sure how you would measure it without actually building one, but I think if you start around, say, 100 Celsius, I think that is a good baseline to start with. And then you just need to know the frequency of the drone that you're trying to cure. There is an app for this, uh, quite a good one. Uh, there's a link in the article here, Spectroid Android app. I've put a link to this app on uh, APK Mirror in case you don't have a uh, Google Play account. You do it at your own risk. All I can say is I've never had any problems with APK Mirror. This is an example of a screen that you'll get in Spectroid. You've got the uh, frequency here and you've got the uh, volume here. So from here you can see where the loudest frequency is. And then you've also got this area underneath it here. The lighter the color, the louder the noise. And this. So this is how you find the the frequency that you want to eliminate. So when you know the frequency of the drone, you, you plug it in here along with the operating temperature of the, of the air in the resonator. So we're going to say 120 hertz. You get the, the result in uh, centimeters, 29.65 centimeters. You can see that this is uh, not given the right number in inches. That will be fixed by the time this video goes live. Below that then, I've put some sources and links to videos explaining more about the quarter wave resonator. So this is an excellent video on um, Keep Bluch channel, Alex Keep Bluch's channel goes into you know how it works, the fundamentals of it, and he's also got formulas then uh, with an Excel spreadsheet so you can uh, double check the numbers that this calculator spits out. I said about the link to the Spectroid Android app to measure the frequency. And then there's a video here about um, someone doing a trial and error process on finding the correct length for their quarter wave header. Uh, there's a link to a forum here where someone has put a quarter waves resonator on a, four, a Porsche 928 race car with excellent results. You can read all about it on that link. And then there's another video here, someone doing a trial and error on a quarter wave resonator. So you can see what they did, what they learned, uh, what results they had. So my final thoughts on the quarter wave resonator. Uh, I think all the links and the video show how important it is to get the temperature accurate. Obviously, it's very hard to know, so I think if you can put something, make it adjustable when you're first constructing it to make it easy to try different lengths to get to the uh, perfect, to get to the perfect size, I think that that would be the way to go. 
and then once you've got the length sorted out then make something more permanent if you know what I mean and then I come on to the Helmholtz resonator chamber calculator so for this one we need a bit more information uh, we need to know the neck, neck diameter i.e. the diameter of the pipe that's connecting the exhaust to the chamber we need to know the length of that neck basically if, if you can see it here we need to know the length and the diameter of that little joining pipe between this and the main exhaust we need to know that the diameter of the chamber is obviously this the length is obviously this and we need to know the temperature of the air inside the chamber as well and once we bang all the numbers in here we'll get a frequency a resonant frequency and you need to see if that frequency matches the frequency that you want to eliminate so it's just a matter of uh, trying different lengths, different neck diameters until you get to the frequency that you want. Some thoughts on this. Like I'm not pretending to be an expert on these resonators at all, but I'm not sure how the Helmholtz resonator works. Look, I understand the principle is the same as like if you have an open bottle, if you blow across the top of the bottle, it makes a sound, it resonates. But I'm not sure how that works with exhaust gases. So I understand that you know you've got exhaust gas going through the pipe when it passes over the top of this this will create a resonance and a noise what I don't understand is how we know if that noise that the resonator is going to make is going to be in phase or out of phase with the noise in the exhaust I can understand the quarter wave resonator because we want it to be 100 we want it to be 180 degrees out of sync with the noise so it cancels out that volume but I don't see how we have control over the the sync or the phase of the noise that that resonator makes the Helmholtz canister resonator obviously it works because there's many companies out there using these Helmholtz resonators on their exhaust but uh, maybe there's more to it than I'm taking into consideration in this calculator here so bear that in mind all the links that I've used to create this calculator this Helmholtz chamber frequency calculator is found here so you can see some Excel spreadsheets, you can see um, a formula from uh, Wikipedia and some uh, random information from uh, Rates and Beat. So you can get an idea of the information I use to make this calculator. Again, from all the things that I've read in here, I don't see anything where we're controlling the phase of that sound that the resonator makes to be out of sync with the exhaust. That's my biggest problem. So those are the two calculators. As is probably obvious, at the moment I prefer the quarter wave resonator because I can understand how that would work. So that's the video guys, if you've got a drony exhaust, uh, hopefully this has planted some seeds of uh, inspiration with regards to using um, you know, quarter wave resonators or Helmholtz resonators to solve your problem rather than sticking extra silences in the exhaust. As always, if you liked the video, please vote on it, please subscribe, look after yourselves and I'll see you again in the next video.